did you think of all of those products? Crazy, right? Well, this is how it turned out and I am loving it. Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about how I got this look. So it's a little different, even if it looks a little similar, <laughs> but um, I can tell just by the way um, it looks and then also how it moves. So because my hair is um, red, basically means that I have to lift my hair and dye my hair. One of the things that I really, really struggle with is keeping moisture in my hair. So a lot of times my hair looks really, really dry and I'm really working on the moisture in my hair. Um, and also I'm working on it growing longer. So you guys won't always have to see me do this because my hair is super long, but the shrinkage is real. Um, also because I have a different hair type, I've realized since I've been doing a lot of studying on this is that I have a hair type that I thought I had that I didn't think I had. First off, let's stay in this video. So I use some different products that really truly help promote um, moisture and hydration. In order for me to have hydration and moisture, one of the things that really, really impact that is the dryness, of course, because I'm natural and then also because of my color. So I kind of cheated you guys. This is not uh, the day of hair. This is actually, this is like fourth day hair, if you will. So this is, this hair had, was done a few days ago um, and I diffused it and all that other good stuff, but I really just wanted to talk about the products that I use. All right, so you've seen all of the products that I use. In addition, for more moisture and more um, less dryness, I will say, is I use um, olive oil and a mixture of deep conditioners. Um, I use a mint conditioner, deep conditioner from Mayel. I also use a Manuka and Honey line from Shea Moisture. And I also use regular olive oil. And oh my goodness, how much moisture was in my hair after that was amazing. And I really truly feel like the reason why my hair can last this long is because I put that olive oil in there. I made sure that I'm using um, oil. I use, uh, in addition, some coconut oil from OGX, um, and then also um, the olive oil and all of these products, of course, they promote healthy hair. So with my hair, I really, really, really need moisture because of the colors. So what I did use was the OGX Orchid Oil, and orchid oil shampoo and i also use the um orchid oil conditioner sorry ogx so those both are for fade defying obviously for color um, i really truly wanted to make sure that i am using something that is going to help with with my hair not fading and also with the dryness. So because it promotes um, non-fading non and it also promotes oil, which is the orchid oil, I'll leave the, um, I'll leave the benefits of orchid oil at the bottom, but I really just wanted to try that because it said color. So on this channel, I will definitely be promoting things that help you grow your colored hair. Even though it's natural, it is still colored. I've been red forever, which is why I really truly wanted to keep my red and then also have my curls. Um, and I actually like the way that this turned this out. This is four day hair, which is generally really, really good for me because by the fourth day, I have so much frizz and so much dryness. I think that these products really, truly helped me out. First, I washed and conditioned with the OGX Orchid Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. The second thing I did was I went in with the leave-in um, Uncle Funky's Daughter Midnight Train Leave-In Conditioner for natural and chemically treated or styled heat style hair. 
specifically for chemically treated because my hair is chemically treated with this color. Um, and then the next thing I went in with was the gel, which was by Urban Therapy, this Urban Therapy gel. Um, I also want to elongate my curls, of course, um, and then uh, eliminates frizz, which is what I have a lot of. Um, and then also after that, I went in with the Coconut Curls Frizz Defying. So as you guys can see, baby is working on color treated hair, frizz, um, elongating my curls. So here it is. Oh, that thought. So what I got that was new was the TGIN Rosewater Curl Refresher. This stuff, this is my second time using it today because I refreshed my curls to do the video, but I do, ooh, excuse me, I do like it. So you guys, let me let you get into the video and see how I use this pro these products, what I did with them, and I hope you enjoy. I'll see you when you get back. Bye. Guys, I am back looking crazy. I know I just took my hair down from a bun. I usually put my hair up in a bun about maybe the sixth or seventh day of my curls just because I don't want to work on my hair too much. And this is a protective style, but as you can see, the middle of my hair is so much more drier than the rest of my hair. So I try to grease it every day, but my hair sucks up moistures and oil. So um, let's wash it with this Orchid Oil Shampoo and Conditioner and see what we get. I'm going to wash, condition, and then mask but a mat our mask today is going to be a cocktail of things so i'm going to show you guys how i mix that cocktail up and then you will see me put the mask on my head all right I'm going to wash my hair and condition it i'll be back I just finished washing my hair. The shampoo and conditioner felt really good on my hair. It felt very moisturized, but as you guys can see, my hair gets dry really quickly. So I do like to add product to my hair when it's sopping wet. So you'll see me adding water to each section before I add the cocktail of deep conditioner.
Okay, so this is the next morning. As you can see, I actually slept with the product in my hair overnight under a heated cap. So I put the shower cap and then a heated cap over my head for just about an hour. Went to sleep, woke up, washed it out. And now I'm about to style my hair. Sitting with the product under a heated cap really allows the product to penetrate in my hair and my scalp. So now I'm adding water and I'm about to apply my three products that are following. So I opened the jar of the gel and shook it a little bit and it was really, really watery. It actually spilled out. The consistency was really, really thin. As you can tell by my face, I'm not really sure if I like it, but we will see. I'm really using the dimming brush to define my curls. So with the dimming brush, it claims to clump your curls, which causes them to be more defined. But after I brush my hair, they're a little clumpy, so I usually shake them just to loosen them up a little bit and separate the curls. But the dimming brush is just really used to define the curls and clump them together. So I'm looking at my hand like this because as you can see there were a little white clumpy drops. This usually means that the products don't work well together but we'll see how this all turns out. So I usually diffuse my hair and let it air dry. Right here, you'll see that I diffused it, but I ended up having to let it air dry the rest of the time and then added some oil to it. All right, guys. So what did you think of all of those products? 
crazy, right? Well, this is how it turned out and I am loving it. If you've ever used anything from the OGX line, the Uncle Funky's Daughter line, or the Urban Therapy line, let me know. And TGIN. I do like a whole cocktail of things. I use Shea Moisture um, for my deep conditioner in addition with the Myel, in addition with the, uh, in addition to the olive oil. And I am truly, truly loving my curls. What I do have to do is go in and kind of pick the roots so it can get a little bigger. But other than that, you guys, remember, when you're picking your hair, you're only doing the roots. And I also think my color looks a little bit brighter too, y'all. What do you guys think? Um, and also what I did new, and I'm gonna, this is the end, but also what I did new is I didn't put any defined parts. Usually I'll have like a middle part or a side, side part, but I wanna be able to versatile my hair. If I wanna flip it over this way, I wanna be able to do that. If I wanna part in the middle, I wanna be able to do that. So I just didn't, if I wanna wear it to the front, I wanna be able to do that as well. So I'm really, really trying to promote growth um, hydration and moisture as well as keeping my color very vibrant so I hope you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel if you find anything helpful or if you just want to go with me throughout my hair journey because I'm gonna grow my hair my long locks and look the shrinkage is real <laughs> But I have a trick for that. I do. If I'm going out somewhere, I do have a trick for that. Um, let me know what you guys think. Any recommendations, let me know that too. Love you guys. Peace. I'm out.